Hey guys, Jerry here and welcome to Mount and Blade Warband with the Florist Expanded Mod Pack or Mod Collaboration. Um Mount and Blade Warband, it's an old game. It's a really good game. It's a game I've spent a lot of time on. Um it has since received um a sort of a branched off su successor in Mon Mountain Blade uh, Fire and Sword, which was not really that fun to me at least. It has also inspired the combat system in War of the Roses that I've showcased earlier on my channel. A game well worth trying, I rec highly recommend it, it's a lot of fun um, once you get the hang of it. But this is the sort of original, there was a Mountain Blade before Warband as well, but Warband kinda took the old game and made it good. So. This, pretty much, you can describe it sort of as a Game of Thrones simulator. Pretty much. Um, medieval combat, a uh, tactical map that where you move around your, your guy and your army, uh, there's castles to invade, there's battles to be fought, trade to be made, that sort of thing. And Floris expands upon this quite a bit and makes it a much more complete game. Now, I know that Tailwolves are working on a successor to this game, um, one which I will most likely pick up as soon as it releases. But um, for now, Mountain Blade Warband with the Flora's Mud Pack is pretty much the closest thing you get to something even remotely simulating Game of Thrones without bearing the title. And quite frankly, the Game of Thrones games that do bear the title suffer the usual problem of being derivative work and just plain bad. So, anyway, I just went into the options menu, not to show you guys all the different options, but mainly to show you guys the difficulty I'm playing on. Now, control block direction. Um, this is one of the really difficult ones to learn to use. Um, like, pretty much, if I set it up like this, wait, manual, easy, I think, and there. This is pretty much the setup um, for the combat system in War of the Roses, so that you d determine your block direction by moving a mouse, you determine your attack direction by moving the mouse. Uh, land control when you're on horseback. Manual, you have to enable it. I like it automatic because I actually quite like it. It's just an extra pain, really, to have to press X every single time you want to land somebody. Uh, damage to players. Um, you can set it to a quarter, to normal, up to well, normal actually, which I guess is normal. It's the actual damage being transferred to the player. So this will make me quite squishy compared to like this, for instance, where I can take four times as much damage. But I'm gonna stick to my guts here, stick to normal, and actually try to be good at the game for once. Combat speed, normal. Not much to it there. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Battle size, 120. This... If you set this too high, then it'll be really impossible to do anything in a battle. Not because of the... Um, the game lagging or anything, but because the um, enemy can potentially outnumber you pretty badly. So, we have started our new game, and you hear about Caloridia, a land torn between Ravel's sovereignties. Blah, blah, blah. Again, story, this game, story is not its strong point. But uh, with the Flores mod here, we get a sort of a more advanced character building system. So let's see, I am a man. I'm a male penguin. I my father was. My father was. He was a step nomad because that's what penguins do. They walk around. You spend your early life as a. Uh, I was a. Uh, my pe a penguin. I was abandoned on the street. Sure. Later on in life, I became. A. I am a. Let's see, what do we want? I'm a troubadour, yeah. And my reason to be an adventurer is... Um, of course, lust for money and power. That's exactly who I am. So, as you can see, the stuff that we get for this, like, um, we get some plus one... Hold on. Oh, okay, so the skills over here. Apparently, we start with 237 coins. 10 of whatever of these. I'm not quite sure what that is. 70 in one-handed weapon skill or skills, 15 in two-handed weapon skills, 13 in pole arms, 
15 bows, 25 crossbows, and 14 thrown. So we get bonus to our power draw, which is the bow uh, usage skill. We get weapon master, athletics. Weapon master gives us more weapon points. Athletics means we can move faster riding, means we ride, of course. Horse archery. Uh, looting, more loot from killing stuff. Pathfinding, seeing stuff on the, uh, the big map. Spotting as well. Persuasion, talk, diplomacy, leadership, being able to lead a bigger army, and trade, of course, giving better prices in towns. So, starting region, let's start in the Kingdom of Sweden, actually, that's a pretty good spot. And let's go with the full expanded troop tree, just to get the most interesting uh, game. And... Game savings policy will be realistic. No quitting without saving. Any everything we do has a um, a consequence. So I need some strength here because I want to use a bow. I also see intelligence gets more skill points, which is pretty good, of course. But um, strength is really, really the main, main combat skill for um, stuff like stuff that re requires strength, such as drawing a bow. And agility, of course, necessary for riding, so... Sure. So we're gonna go for a horse archer with secondary use of lances, I think. And maybe a backup sword, or dagger. We'll see. So I need some more horse archer, or bow drawing here. Horse archer is pretty good riding. I uh, could probably use three there. Let's see. Foraging. Um... Basically, you gotta keep your army supplied with food and such, so foraging is a pretty good skill for that. Trainer allows me to practice or to train, give experience to the other soldiers in my party. Um, what else do we have? We have five skill points. That's quite a bit, actually. We probably need a bit of power strike so we actually can do some belly damage as well. But focus on the bow. Um... Get a bit more horse archery so we can actually aim a bit better, bit better from horseback and get some looting on. That's really good early on. So, finally we need our points in archery, I think. And we need a name. Uh, Jerry the... Penguin. There we go. Done. That does not look like a penguin. Randomize. Uh... As you can see, the facial quality here is not too good, but that's uh, alright. He has a nice mustache there. Let's just stick with that. Hair color, from black to black. Sure. Let's just stick to this guy. And let's see, there's a caravan. Blah, 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 blah. You have to keep white both of the forest, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're exhausted, we find ourselves in an inn. Again, the story is not the strong part. The story is what you make it, really. Like, the intro here is always the same, and it's kind of shit. Hey. Have a guitar. That's what I have. Or a loot or something, and some thrown weapons. Apparently, my I'm using my loot as... Come on, I'm trying to throw. Okay, I'm dead already. I died in the tutorial because I didn't start with a proper weapon. <clears throat> but luckily this guy saved me. Ulrich Fogger. <sighs> His brother has been taken. Sure, let's... So he gives us some money and now we need to leave this place. That's not the one I wanted. Uh, let's see, what what actually is the leave button? Tap, yeah. Alright. So, welcome to the uh, tactical map here. Now, this map is pretty much where the the big game takes place. Uh, as you can see, there are towns like this one. Um, there are little villages like this one. And right now, our mission is to find five guys to help us. So, we go to this village here, we see recruit volunteers. Three of them, sure. We can afford three of them. 
Now we need to find two more guys. So I guess the other village over here is the closest one. Or maybe over here it would right, I would be better, but Yindar. Room of the Road. Will be a tournament held in Suno. Interesting. So the other village here, they're indifferent to us. Um and they have another three guys to join us. Yay! Alright, we got five guys. Now we can return to the merchant. Like and this is sort of an introductory quest, it's pretty it has nothing to do with the real game as such, other than just kind of teaching you a bit of about everything. Alright, let's visit the tavern and see you are there. Very well, I shall hunt for bandits. So there are some bandits um, just outside of town who knows where his brother is. So we need to find these guys, they're over there. I have been looking for you. Tell me where you keep your prisoners and I'll let you go. Uh, Alright, so we gotta fight them. Now, as we saw earlier, um, my fighting skills are pretty much... Oh, I have a sword now. Interesting. That sure does make it a lot easier. I also have a horse. I still don't get why I have the loot on in inside my arm, but um, I guess that's part of the being a troubadour and early in life. I got my little loot or whatever the hell it is stuck inside my arm. But these guys should not prove up much of a problem. See, so stab him. And try to avoid most damage by riding through them quickly. Swing at them. Deliver another 13 damage. There we go, that's one knocked unconscious. Stab this guy. Nope. He blocked. And they killed me instantly. So now we gotta wait for our little uh, army of guys to finish the remaining two of them. Or get knocked unconscious and die. Alright, there we go. So as you can see, the uh, the full damage to player is really, really um, merciless. Battle 1, press tab to leave. Spare me, spare me, spare my life. Let me go and I'll go far away from here. Alright, information. We know where the hostages are held now. We can... We can't actually capture him. So we'll have to let him go. But we can loot these guys. And apparently they... Have a bit of armor here we can put on. And then we can carry... The rest of the stuff. Rusty knife, pretty useless. Crude hat, sure, let's put that on. And we actually have a shield, so why do we have this little stupid violin here? Resistance 1, yeah, resistance 6. This one's a bit better than the violin. Can we get rid of this thing? Yeah, apparently we, we, we can't use shields, that's why, okay. Well, very well. We defeated them, even though I got my ass kicked. And some soldiers are ready to upgrade. Party, okay, let's see. So two of these can be upgraded, so let's uh, upgrade them to archers, actually. Both of them. So now we got these two archers, and we got a couple of peasants. Helping us. Excellent. Alright, we know where, where the uh, kidnappers are there, over there. And I know f from experience that the kin kidnappers have a pretty... Uh, I did not want to enter the arena. Let's go back again. Marketplace. I know for a fact the kidnappers have, or tend to have pretty good equipment, so we won't really be much um, used in that battle. Now, if only we had a lance. Now, this, of course, is a big-ass lance, and probably also way too big for us. But if, like, over down here, they, they had, like, a, an old bent lance or something we could purchase for cheap, uh, but no, the, they only have small, uh, big ones and really expensive ones. But at least we can sell the extra loot we got. Uh, let's see. I think we should wait here for some time because we're pretty hurt. Let's see if we leave here. Character. We have 8 health. That's really bad. 
Like the main the main way you heal up is by pretty much waiting in towns. Now eleven looters over there, that's more than we can handle really, so at least when I'm not when I'm in such bad condition. So right now let us rest for a bit. And Alright, let's go over here and see if we can recruit some more people. There's some village farmers here. Ooh, there's that's a lot of looters. Luckily they weren't interested in us. Alright, we got another force peasants. Interesting. Um, but we really need to purchase a bow or something uh, that we can actually use on horseback. Like that would be pretty pretty good for us, especially considering that we do have points in archery and such. Let's just quickly pass through this village again and then head to Suno and actually have a look up there, see what they have for sale of weapons and such. Um, go to the village center. Like apparently there's no one else here. But if we ride into the village here, you can see the graphics are not too bad considering how old this game is. Um, now of course the um, uh, the mod pack I'm using does add a bunch of extra graphics and textures and uh, locations and such. But still, the the base en engine is the same. Now, which one of these looks like an el elder? The elder never moves. That guy up there could be an elder. Let's ride up the stairs to him. There's a hunter and an elder. Do you have any tasks? You, you no. Know? What about the hunter? He has one of his friends. Yeah, sure, let's hide him and actually get a bit of extra protection there for us. So, at the moment our party is two hunters, which are pretty good archers actually, and then we have the Swedish peasant archers, which are not really that good, and the peasants, which are utterly useless. But, at least they serve Canon Father. That's the their main purpose in life right now. Alright, Suno. We're coming up on the town now, or city. There's a tournament here. We can't really... Well, we can try and compete. Three teams, six fighters each. Um, change tournament options. Let's... Okay, difficulty. Apparently that's... Uh, yeah, how many players are on each team? Team... I'm, I want to go for the... It's joining me on the red team all the way, so I know at least where, where, where I am. We want a lance and shield... Oh, we want a bow and arrow, and we want a horse. We have one option remaining. And uh, then give me a one-handed shield, weapon and shield as well, just in case I get disarmed. Or actually, do I want a lance instead? Yeah, I want a lance instead. Uh, tournament design. And uh, let's just leave it at that. Fight in the next round. Alright, we have pretty much no skill at all in any of this, so let us just pretty much ride over here instead. And see if we can lance down this guy. Nope, we could charge him, but that's about it. Like, we gotta be careful not to harm anyone that's re wearing red. Uh, that's not the way you do that. Yeah. Knock down in one hit. So we lost that pretty badly. And we didn't manage to do anything at all. <sighs> Apparently we are still in the tournament. Impressive enough. Right, let's see if we can get this lands actually working for once. There we go. Deliver 98 damage. And we got one skill point in lands. We actually did some use this time. We did something good. But this horse we have is not really that good. That's one, I think, one of our problems. Alright, we managed to knock someone else down. While just charging into them. Um, we have received quite a bit of damage. 28 damage. That's gonna leave a mark. That's our outlayers. We don't want to hurt them. And we lanced his horse. So he's disarmed now. Alright, we need to wait for a bit for the lands to recharge. Or rather for us to prepare the lands again. 
if we ride over here around the corner. Hopefully we can find one of these blue guys that are still alive. There's one there. Um, did it was 54 damage. That's a good bit of damage, but he's still alive. Whoops, now we're dead. We're dead. There we are. 66 damage. So yeah, our team is gonna lose now. But maybe... Maybe, just maybe, we've actually done enough to... Uh, to score us the option to remain in the tournament. Like, we're not bidding anything at the moment because, quite frankly, I, I'm not planning to win any of this. Um, I don't think we have the skills just yet, considering that like these guys we're fighting against are uh, guard captains, they're lords. Uh, so, um, they are supposed to have the training that we don't at the moment. And that, of course, in this game, shows up by them having superior skill. But at least we managed to... Did we knock someone down, or did we just do damage to him? We received 139 damage from something. In other words, we really need some armor and such to... Uh, of course, I think in the tournament here, everyone's using the same armor, but... We have not been eliminated yet. Uh, rank 8 out of 32. We're not, not out of it yet. Which is quite impressive. I really should be using the bow a bit, but uh, so far the yeah, uh, oops. let's let's try the bow actually. Six damage, not a not a lot of damage there. We are not doing too well here. That's our friendly instead. Like, the horse archery here is pretty damn, damn difficult. Um, like, you've got such a huge spread on the arrows uh, until you actually have the skills. So let's try the land one more time and see if we can actually do something with it. 105 damage to that guy just by riding into him. All right, let's see if we can escape these guys. We are one guy against two right now. Those two behind us are the only ones left, apart from me. So if we can keep moving and not let them catch up to us. We're in pretty good position, but we need really need to take down the archer there because he's dangerous from range. So if we can get one more run at him with the lance, hopefully he should fall down. It's a sack of potatoes he has. Uh, that didn't work too well. Let's turn over here, hopefully accelerate quick enough. Damage him just a wee bit. These guys are running fast. Ow. There we go, that's that's a horse down. And that leaves us dead. Well not the horse. When you're kinda of counting on the lands, then you're just dead instantly. But apparently we are still in the tournament or the tournament just continues. Um let's just keep fighting and then again show you guys a bit more of the combat system. Uh See if we can actually hit someone for once. Again, the the combat art or the horse archery. Um, like there's an inherent uh, problem with it in that um, the the faster you move, the uh, the the worse your aim will be. Oh, there's only one guy left. Oh yeah, our team won. Impressive. By me not interfering. Um, the final round of the tournament. Uh, can we make a bet now? Nope. I guess not. Alright, final round. Let's land someone first. We didn't actually kill them, we just did damage to them. Anyway, um, green team is doing really, really poorly, apparently. Red team, blue team are the ones in the in the battle. Ow, no, no, not good, not good. Oh, we got saved. Someone saved us. 
Alright, let's try the boat then, see if we can see anyone. There's a blue guy there. Can we actually hit anyone, or... Nope. We can just kinda ride around. I'm trying not to die. Ah! Tournament awards. Pretty much no awards for, to us throughout the entire thing. We made it in third, fourth place, really? Finish. And because we made fourth place, we didn't receive anything other than the training we did. But I guess the training is not a, such a bad thing. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this as the first episode of our Mountain Blade Warband with Flory's uh, mod pack installs. Um, you've kind of seen the game now. If you want to see more of it, then make sure that you tell me by liking the video or sm putting it in the comments below. Again, the game is very deep. There's a lot to do here, a lot of different places to visit, a lot of castles to invade. But it's gonna take some time for us to get the skills up and not die instantly every single battle. Um, so... If you want to follow me on that journey, then by all means, tell me below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.